watching a Titan Medical Center production. What's up guys? Me and Sharice are here at the airport right now and we're waiting on our special guest coming into town, which we have Mike and Mona. So Michael Hearn is coming and to little town. Titan. And Little Titan's coming in town. So the whole family's coming to town to hang out with our family. So it's Titan family and Titan family. Gonna have just a great Titan time all the way around, <laughs> right? Titan. So the Titans get together, you know how we do it. All day, every day. We do it big. Trip. Oh, it's it's fine. Yeah. Hi. Let me see. Hi. What's up, Titan? How are you doing, man? How was the trip? I see that. I see that. Look at you. Flying around, huh? We got the little one. Yeah. Oh, but it wasn't too bad with the delay. It was good. It was good. Everything's great so far. Awesome. Awesome. I'm glad we're here. We're finally here. Had to come, man. Had to come meet you guys, man, for sure. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Tomorrow we'll throw tomorrow on. Tomorrow we'll Yeah, right? I mean, we're 24 sure. 7. That's, that's all we do. Yeah, th this is. <laughs> He's got the good name. Oh, yeah. He's got the good name. That's a strong name. He's going to always be a Titan. That's right. <laughs> we have a, a wild weekend set oh, up yeah. by you guys. Yes. yes. So for you guys at home, Stay tuned for everything that's going to happen. <laughs> it's going to be wild! <laughs> so we just got done picking up Mike and Mona and Little Titan, and they're going to go get their rental car, so they had to go on the tram. And we're going to go get our car, and then we'll probably go get a bite to eat with them, check them in the hotel, make sure everything's good. So come along with us, and you guys can see some of the behind the scenes of what we're going to do, because we got some big things coming for you guys. So stay tuned. Let's do it. So we're down here in Channel Side, beautiful Tampa, Florida. You know, Titan office is right down the street. But we're here at the Edition here. Best hotel, I guess, in Tampa is what they say. Haven't got to stay here myself, but put my man up, Michael Hearn and his family in here. So they should have a great, relaxing, enjoyable time while they're in Tampa. And we're showing them our best here. So uh, we're here at Boulan. First time to come to Boulan. I don't know how long it's been since you've been to Tampa, but it's definitely different here than probably when you were here last time, for sure, 100%. I was here last year, um, but it's definitely different because I'm hanging with you guys. Yes. So this is going to be a second level. Yes. I love it. Yes. It's, it's not an appearance for me. It's just a fun yeah. get together. Absolutely. So this is going to be an exciting time weekend. To make memories and friends. Yes, yes. So we're here. I'm, I'm glad to have Mike in town, for sure. Honored to have him and the family here, to have our families together. It's gonna to be it's gonna be a great time all the way through and through. So I'm just looking forward to breaking bread with them for the first time tonight. Yeah, there you go. And uh, like Sri said, make some awesome memories and some with some great friends. So. Can you guys eat well? Oh yeah. You, you sure? You sure? Because we're we're foodies. I love food. Oh. <laughs> this is on. Yeah. We are officially friends over food. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Sleep. Are you getting good sleep? If you're not, you might be taking too many stimulants in. That's right. Number one example is caffeine. Caffeine's in so many different products out on the market. From energy drinks when you walk in your favorite gas station to pre-workouts before you go training. And let's give an example of pre-workouts. Some pre-workouts are 400 milligrams per serving, per scoop size. And some people out there are taking two to three scoops. That's 800 to 1200 milligrams of caffeine every single day. They are using and abusing this caffeine, which is causing them harmful effects on their sleep. That's right. If you take too many stimulants, it might mess up your sleep patterns. At that point, it creates a domino effect because the next day you're waking up unrefreshed, no energy and lethargic. And who wants that? So what do you do? You go reach for your energy drink, your pre-workout, coffee, 
whatever is going to get you by that day and get you over the symptom of feeling tired or lethargic. But you're creating a downward cycle where you need so much caffeine per day just to be awake and be able to move and, and function, right? You don't want that. You want to use caffeine as a benefit or stimulants as a benefit for you. So don't overdose on these stimulants and make sure you're not harming your sleep cycles and not just restarting every single day. It's not Groundhog's Day. You don't have to repeat the exact same thing every single day. You want to make sure you give your body a break on some stimulants too as well. This will definitely help your sleep patterns and help you get refreshed, revitalized, and feel good the next day without any stimulants necessary. So stay tuned because I got more videos that are going to help you guys feel energized, revitalized, and non-lethargic with plenty of energy to go. So stay tuned. You're watching a Titan Medical Center production. What's up guys, John from Titan here, and I'm enjoying the weather on this beautiful Friday in Tampa. And uh, tonight's gonna be a great night because we are here at uh, the setup, right? The pre-setup for Jason Skeldon's Save the Squirrel art show. It's gonna be phenomenal. I cannot wait to get back here. Um, but we just got done setting up the cars and we brought up the Z06. I heard about the Huracan. Uh, you know, Jason said, you know, listen, I wanna park some, some badass rides out in front of this event so when people walk in, they know what's up. And there's gonna be other friends of his that are bringing maybe their Lamborghinis or Ferraris or whatever it is they drive that uh, will, you know, show what's up to people that are walking into the AC Hotel here down in Tampa, Florida where Jason did a limited number of uh, 150 tickets, I think. And uh, there's five sponsors total, and we're one of the main ones. So it's a, it's a beautiful thing. So we're here, the setup, we're all done. I'm gonna have to go back, get showered. Trish, we're gonna take an hour, maybe two to get ready. We'll see, hopefully it's an hour. Eat something, and then be back here to show you guys what the final product does of inside. I've already seen inside. I kind of know what's going on tonight. It's gonna be a great, great event, like always. 
Jason always shows great events. Back. That's right. We're here, dressed to the nines. My beautiful, gorgeous wife, Cherise. Look at her. She's stunning all the time. I love you too. Oh man. So we're here for Jason Skeldon's art show, Save the Squirrels. And uh, you might have seen us earlier parking the cars up front. And man, there's some pretty, pretty badass rides up here, right next to the Titan vehicles. Big props to all the guys that brought their vehicles or girls if they're the drivers too. Can't hate. Don't discriminate. But those yeah. are some really, really nice cars. But we're going to head right inside and we're going to check out the art show firsthand, first person, me and Sharice, and uh, enjoy some time maybe with Jason. I know he's going to be getting pulled left and right. Maybe we'll get him on camera and talk about some of the art show and maybe the meaning behind the squirrels. Yeah, I asked, well, what is this squirrel thing about? You know, because Jason and Echo are very good friends of ours and I've never heard about the squirrel thing, but yet I'm seeing squirrels everywhere and paintings of squirrels and so maybe we'll get the story behind the squirrels. Absolutely. So a lot of hard work in the setup and everything here. I know Jason, he's gonna come through with one hell of an event. So I can't wait to get inside. So come on, let's go. Guys, I finally got him. I tracked him down. Jason Skeldon, official, saying the squirrels, masterpieces all over, tons of great artwork, tons of great people. We got some drinks going on. The vibe is here. So if you aren't here, you're missing a great vibe. And Jason always brings the vibe. So make sure, next one, you don't miss out. Because those tickets sell out quick, right? Sure. Take it out. That's right. He made us the biggest squirrel because he knows the biggest. It's tight oh, medical center, right? Boys just pulling a mic out. Oh, yeah. Back. I had this. Head on my jacket. I'm like, you know what? Let me just use this little microphone and talk back and forth. My boy's family, man. They always supported me. They were buying paintings when I needed it. Now they buy them, and I give them, like, you know, a little bit of a discount. You know, they family. But I love these guys. Our entire house is filled with skeleton paintings, okay? Yeah. It's true. It is very true. Yeah. If you ever do see uh, any videos of our house or get to come to the house, you'll see his artwork. In our master bedroom, I think we got three paintings in there alone. Yep. And it's kind of throughout the house too as well, plus at the office. So uh, I got a supportive man. I love my dude, man. He's like my brother. And uh, at that point, I'm just proud of him. And he just keeps climbing. So if you ain't got one of his skeleton paintings yet, you better get in line. You better put a deposit down real quick because he's going to get some really, really big value for his paintings going forward. Yeah. So, yeah. right? Yeah, honestly, it's like, like these guys motivate me. You know what I'm saying? Seeing the grind they put in. We pursue stuff that people, like, honestly, like, without saying, trying to seem big-headed, it's stuff that people probably wouldn't take on because the, the, it's a lot of work. The vision behind it is so deep, everything that we have to do. And so it's great to see a vision they had come to life, a vision that I have, you know, Come to life. Yeah, I hate, to I, life. I hate boosting myself. But hey, yeah. I'll do it for him. Yeah. Come to life. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, it's just a beautiful thing. I love these guys, man, yeah. seriously. I love you, too. Yeah, so we love him. Yeah. We're going to get back. We love Echo, too. And she's just running around here like a chicken with a head cut off. Yeah. Yeah. She, she's always on it, though. So, big shout out to Echo for helping and doing all this. And she go big time. And some of these paintings, man, we're going to show you some of these because there's one, this Jimi Hendrix one, is just... Insane. Oh my God, dude! Like, it, yeah, it's it's awesome. So, come on along with us, and well, let's have some fun. Maybe a drink or two, and uh, enjoy this beautiful art show, Barbara. What boy. are you guys drinking tonight? So I, I got uh, yeah, I know I've got nectar rosé imperial. Okay. 
Yep. Wouldn't do it any other way. Yep. Champagne, basically. Yeah. Dude, it's a celebration, right? I don't really drink that much, but I'll drink when I celebrate. So let's go. What's up, guys? So we're here in the midst of Jason Skeldon's Save the Squirrel Fashion Show. Had a true hit, but another treat is, is I always get to see some of my other good friends here. And uh, I got the guy right here, Mike Piper. He's been a good man. friend of me since yeah. forever. He's the man. He's the man. He's the man. Allegedly. I'm just kidding. Not a legend, he's the man. Period. I said allegedly, not a legend. <laughs> well, I know one thing. He's a legend, yeah, yeah. I he's a man. <laughs> he's been rocking it for a long time, and I've known, we've known him for a long time, so it, it's just awesome to see everybody thriving. God bless and in good health, and uh, it's just always fun to talk to Mike because you never know what is going to come out of Mike's mouth. Just like Sharice. I love it. We are very unpredictable characters. That's true. But in a good way. So, you know what? It's just good times here. We're going to keep enjoying. Just come on and follow us, and we're going to show you around. What's up guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right, me and my beautiful little wife over here. Every week I bring you guys great tips, tricks, information, and things will hopefully accelerate, ignite, and take your relationship to a whole new healthy level. I like that word, accelerate. Accelerate, That's right? Cool one, yeah. It means speeding to get there. Mm -hmm. right? We want to make sure we're doing it the right way too. So every week we're bringing you guys these great tips and tricks and information, like I said. And uh, it's something that me and Sharice maybe have went through through our 15 years of relationship here um, and marriage and kids or different things that we picked up either from couples that we know or have seen out and about. So at that point, we can help you guys because you know what? Love's not easy and relationships are not easy sometimes either. Sometimes they can't. Yeah, they won't. I mean, it's easy with John, but sometimes it really can't be easy. Yeah, so at that point, it's always a work in progress, right? So you want to be the best you can for your partner and vice versa, reciprocating that back. So this week uh, is, is a good one, I think, for couples too, as well as single people. Because if you're single, don't worry. Just take all this great information we're giving you guys, store it in the back of that head, and at that point, utilize it for your future relationships, and hopefully that'll be a successful one. But, you know, when we talk about life's pressures mm -hmm. and how to deal with it, whether you're a couple or you're a single person, you know, I, I think there's pros and cons to both avenues, unless you have a good partner, okay? And, you know, the, the pro is to me, I think that when you have a partner there, and it's a good partner, you know, when you are going through life's problems of whatever it is now that might be affecting both of you guys at the same time too so this can kind of veer the partner away then at that point but if it's going through it by yourself and your partner's there then they can support you and help you and, and kind of get you back to where you need to be and make sure you don't go too far down and spiral right because it happens to people and mm -hmm. um, they get down on themselves and, and you know sometimes people can't pick themselves back up and that's what a good partner can do for you mm -hmm. Now, uh, you know, on the other end of it, if, you know, there's something that's affecting both partners at the same time or the situation that affects you guys both, right, um, then at that point, you're going to have to work with each other right. because you're both down. It can be tough, right? too, because, I mean, if you guys are both going through something at the same exact time, whether it's over one thing together or you guys are both, let's say you guys are both going through job issues, yeah, right? Both you guys, and, and that's a tough one. And I know it's a hot button for a lot of people out there because a lot of people fight about finances. So if you guys are both going through, you know, let's say job issues, you know, you have to ask yourself, like, how do you support your partner when you're going through it too? Mm -hmm. So it's, there's got to be a happy medium somewhere in there. And I really think it, you know, learning your partner and your partner's behaviors and some of your partner's gestures and picking up on just signs, behaviors, and different things that you've picked up over the years, months, trends. weeks, trends, you know, 
Um, I think it's important to pay attention to it and then apply it to how you're reacting or how you're handling the situation. Yeah, I mean, I, I think, you know, the, the, the one, you know, that's one of the biggest arguments and divorce breakers is financial problems with the couples. Mm -hmm. And, you know, whether you're single or you're a couple, it, it doesn't discriminate. There's people that just are not financially sound or know what to do with money or they're really bad with money. OK, mm, yeah. uh, and at that point, you know, that affects the partner, that affects the person and, you know, the financial thing, if you know, you're both losing your job per se, right? Then you got to come up with a plan together, you know, whether it's you got to help each other out. I mean, you might only have one car, so you have to go, hey, listen, I'm going to take you to yours. Or you're going to take me to my interview and, you know, this is how we're going to work it. So you have to have a game plan together. So I think communication, talking is key to this. Always communication is um, key. You know, and coming up with a battle plan instead of fighting each other on it. I think, you know, being open with the, your, your partner and being able to help in that light is going to help you guys both out. And you know, one one gets up, and at that point, the other one gets up, and then you guys are both up together. And you guys can't right. both be down or both be up at the same time it's if tough. you guys are both going through it at the same time. It's tough, you know. I, I, there's, listen, you know, we're, we're not immune to stuff like that too. There's been bad things that have happened to me and Sharice, and it hit us both at the same point in time. So at that point, it's like, you know, we both had to do what we had to do to get up together, right? And we both support each other, and there's been a lot of different things. I mean. You know, a minute thing, you know, in the light of things, not to me, obviously, is, you know, my dog just getting cancer, right? Lymphoma. So that hit the family real hard. We're all down. Mm -hmm. You know, it's hard to get up just when just talking about that situation. That's not a relationship thing, but it's just a little fine tuned. Well, example, I mean, it's I guess, kind right? of one of the reasons why we maybe did this episode, too. We like to try to keep it current with even like what's going on with me and John. Um, sometimes it has nothing to do with what's going on with me and John, because me and John, some of the things we bring up on here, We've already been there, done that. We're yeah. going to do it again kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. Um, we're definitely not doing it again. So, you know, um, but, you know, finding out something like that, that takes a toll on the entire family, obviously, because pets are, you know, kids, you know, they are our kids. So, you know, I got like, I got like seven kids, you know, mm -hmm. I, John's dad counts as two. But regardless, you know, they are like kids. So, um, you know, you, you got to figure out, like, you know, when one person's down, like, you know, which one is going to, you know, I mean, both of you guys can cry at the same time, but, you know, which one of you guys is going to do a pat on the back and be like, all right, it's going to be okay. And then the next one's going to be like, all right, it's going to be okay. And you guys have each other's, you know, learning who they are. Some people, they want to be left alone and they just need to process it. You know, they got to they got to process it and they want to be left alone. And it doesn't mean you have to leave them alone for days. Just you got to maybe leave them alone for a little bit, let them process it and just let them go through it. You know, whatever, the, however they handle it. I mean, I was even telling my son, you know, people handle things differently. And that goes for relationships, too. Everybody handles things differently. Some people, they want you to be by their side mm -hmm. and just maybe ask them every five minutes. Like, are you OK? Are you OK? Are you OK? Are you sure you're OK? <laughs> Are you okay? I mean, some some people actually want that. You know, it's it's crazy to think that, but maybe they don't want time to process it, which they're going to have to process it eventually. But maybe they don't, and they want to be you know sidetracked per se. So you know, you really need to yeah. learn your partners. You know what they want, what they need, and you know be able to provide that for them based on what you know about them. I agree. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I think I think that's a good point. I definitely think it's a good point. I mean, for, for couples out there that are, you know, experiencing things like this, you know, like I said, supporting communication and having a game plan together on where you guys are going to go to succeed mm -hmm. with this. Um, and, and nobody's immune to it either, right? Like I said, we're, we have examples of our lives. You know, my friends have examples of their lives. I'm sure you have your own examples of your own life uh, and your relationships too as well. So, you know, with this, you know, there's different ways to, you know, to be able to handle some of these other pressures too, because not just all financial. There's, uh, there's different things, you know, there's expectations that you maybe wanted to achieve and, and that's kind of bringing you down and that's a pressure on you that you haven't accomplished it yet, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to have this job by 25, I'm going to be retired by 40 or whatever it may be and that, it never that's happens. That's mine, that's mine. It never happens, right? <laughs> that's or, happening for me. Or, or it's been delayed for some reason or another. A little bit, yeah. And, and you know, you start feeling pressure on that. Women start feeling pressure if they haven't had kids, you know, some women, I'm not saying all, but you know, women have pressure, they haven't had kids by a certain point, right? Because, they, you know, the biological clock is ticking. You know, in, in the future we live in today, girls can have, you know, kids a lot older, but this is something of concern, it's something that goes on internally with some of the women. 
um, you know, guys, you know, it's you know, it's a whole whole different expectation of what you want to be and how you want to be, and and that's a life pressure too as well. Um, and just fitting into wherever you're at, right? Your social uh, uh, climate of, of people and, and having those pressures of those peoples, right? Whether it's keeping up with the Joneses and this person has this, and you're, you're, you're trying to, you know, it's not you're trying to compete, but you, you're automatically in that rat race yeah, to a I certain agree. extent, right? Yeah, I definitely um, and you get You get kind of dragged into that, and that's another life pressure you might have to deal with. There's somebody out there, and then kids. That's another aspect of a relationship then when you pressures. get to that level of pressures, you know, um, it, it, you got to be able to agree to disagree and then disagree and then agree again, you know, on different things yeah. with, with what's going on with your kids. And hopefully, you know, you stay in that relationship with your partner and that, you know, the child has a father and a mother that are right there, but that doesn't happen a lot either these days, no, no. you know, and, and I'm, I'm, you know, no, no problem. If you want to get a divorce, you've had a divorce. That is what it is. But, you know, at that point, you know, it's like, you know, you want to do what's best for the kid. And listen, if you guys can't get along together and you guys are better separate, then that's what's best for the kid, I guess. Um, you know, it, it, everybody's different. And for my eyes, it, I don't think so. But some people's eyes, it is what it is. Um, yeah, we're old school. So, you know, you know work through it, I make it happen. I think you got to work out the problems. I think uh, there's... Or try. There's too many people out there that want to take the easy way out. Yeah, and they just so, give up too easily. It's so easy to pull, pull that, you know, that parachute and just, you know, get out and inject. So, you know, it, it's it's tougher to stay in that, work out the issues, but. Remember though, utilize all of your scenarios as you guys grow together, because that's what's supposed mm -hmm. to happen. Utilize every single one of them. Don't look at them as a bad situation. Try to turn it into a positive thing where it's like, okay, this is just another building block on top mm -hmm. of another thing that we're gonna build our big relationship on. Yep. You know, we're gonna get through it together, whether it's your problem, my problem, our problem, it doesn't matter. We're going to get through it together. Yep. That's going to be the key. Definitely. So that's it. Another week of Cupid's Corner by me and my beautiful wife, Sharice. Uh, make sure you guys can tune in every Sunday at 11 a.m. here on ABC. Or if you don't get to catch on ABC, you can DVR it. And if you're not in the state of Florida, no problem. It's on all our social media platforms. But I would go over to YouTube <laughs> and go over there and subscribe after you type in Tight Medical Center and find our uh, page. Yep. Subscribe, get to see all these great shows and more. And then me and Sharice are always going to be bringing great topics and information for you guys to help you guys out. And if you guys have anything you think we'd like to talk about or you want to talk about, then just send us a DM and maybe we'll bring it up on a show and uh, answer your questions or go over these different things for you guys. So we see you next week, 11 a.m. Sunday on ABC for another Cupid's Corner with me and my beautiful wife, Sharice. See you then.